Julius Kwine lives with his guardians in Bugolobi, Kampala. The 25-year-old has always had interest in technology and keeps a toolbox containing some of the materials he uses for his innovations. Twini, who has some training in electronics from a technical school, explains that the bulb is made from a pipe and plastic bottle top. I have been coming with different projects. This one, it's because many Ugandans they have been losing their lives, especially in Kampala or in towns where the people, electricity goes off and they run for candles. At the end of the day, the candle burn the house millions and millions of money they, they are lost. He uses materials picked from old electronics like capacitors from radios. Use of capacitors, um, they act as a storage, and two, they help you to change the uh, AC to DC. Twine says he has so far spent 60,000 shillings to create the bulb, which is switched on by connecting two wires. The other two wires connected to the power, which lights and charges the bulb at the same time. When the power goes off yeah. right now, let's say Umim has gone off, it, will, it is off now. It will give you light for two days, like the way how it is lighting. Then when the power go, comes again, it will, give, it will just show you the light, the light, change, light changes as the power comes. According to Twini, the bulb can save up to 90% of power because it runs for one night and keeps power for three days. They have been crying for the electricity bill, where they, especially like schools, supermarkets, in the big companies where the lights remain on. There is no bulb in Kampala or in worldwide which can give you backup of light for two days, three days. His plans stretch far beyond the TJ17 Iberako in Ajeseva. Julius Twine's TJ17 energy saver can run for three days and all he needs now is to replace the lithium battery which goes in a phone with a stronger one and also change the capacitors and transistors inside plus the LED lights to have better light. He has the ingenuity to produce a bulb that can run for eight days without electricity. So if I get like a much more capital which is used to buy, at least I buy this, yeah, the real requirements. Also among his innovations is a self-powered charger, which uses lithium ion cell phone batteries. This has a motherboard onto which resistors and capacitors are soldered. After reading that theory of feedback system, negative, negative feedback system, positive feedback system, then I try to gather all things according in theories, and I come up with this one. That's how I came up with the ID. It is powered by phone batteries, which in turn, Power four motors rotated using a rubber band like belt. The motors were taken from old radios. Output voltage are fed into input voltage to maintain the cycle of the voltage in the system. The self charger, which can be used for phones and other appliances which have a USB charging system, can run for three months, which makes it ideal for areas with no electricity and for troops in combat. This creation has cost twin at least 400,000 shillings. With this idea, because many Ugandans worldwide, they have been with the problem of charging, charging phones, especially smartphones. And although this piece of information could not be readily verified, Twine says he shared his innovation with the Inspector General of Police, General Kale Kaihura, and President Yori Museveni. I like the idea where he was saying that he's willing to support me through State House, but due to lack of the people to reach President, have not yet got my promises. The young man explains that. Depending on how the components are scaled, they can produce enough power for a home with items like televisions and fridges among others. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.